Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and welcome in this beginner to advanced VR tutorial series for beginners to advance. That's just what I said. Anyway, we will be working with a VR expansion plugin and in this first episode I will show you kinda how to work around it, how to set your own movement mode, how to disable other movement modes, setting grasping hands, which means that you can catch stuff basically, and how to also change climbing so you can climb only to surfaces that you choose. Just the basic stuff to let you be comfortable with VR in Unreal Engine. Also, if you are a complete beginner in Unreal Engine, I would probably recommend you to, to watch some tutorials for regular game development or other stuff it's probably not a good idea to start with VR just from the beginning I have some basic videos as well so if you are interested in that feel free to or just read Unreal documentation all up to you or if you are brave enough feel free to watch this but it's not gonna be that easy let's go all right so first of all make sure that you have installed VR expansion plugin and have this template which you can make sure just by clicking on plugins and looking here if you don't have it you need to download it and I have a video for that so link in the description or somewhere here is I letter let's get to other stuff this is teleport I can switch it to navigate etc etc and what I want is to not to be able to switch it because I don't think it's good for a regular game so let's set it only to teleport and disable this ability to switch it for that we will need to get our VR pawn so let's click on this little icon which will show us this setting just because it's better to look at like this and right here in the search assets let's write here pawn and it gets us via Vive Pawn character. And what we will simply do is right click here in that, oh, actually no, we will click on content. And before searching for that, we will right click, create new folder. Let's call it AA underscore files. And that's simply because all the folders that we will change, I want to have in specific folders so you can always find them. So now what you will do is again, right here pawn and now really take this Vive Pawn character, which is the one that we are using when you start the game. And I will explain what this pawn in a moment. And let's put it here in AA files. All right, now if we click on here and just open it, we can see our character basically. So pawn is basically unit or object, let's say a set of code that you possess as a character, as a player. Possess means that it can receive input from you, which basically means if you press this, it will do something. So now what we wanted to do is to change the teleport movement. And if you look here, it's pretty scary and hard to look at. For now, you can ignore almost everything. I will go quite slowly. So what we need to do is to find something that handles teleportation and this handle teleportation seems like it will be that. So you can see that now, right now we have here custom event, a teleportation custom event is basically another set of code that you can call from somewhere else. So if we find input teleport left, which is exactly what that input I was talking about before, that basically means once you press this thumbstick on the left control, it will execute what's happening here. And it will basically call that function which we did, this one, execute teleportation. This whole thing will be called from here. Luckily naming here is done pretty well, so we can just find movement mode left. And what we need to do is to set it to something set. Because we are setting it. Okay, I'm gonna stop joking. Let's try to click a left here in this my blueprints and fight here movement mode left. And look at that, we have it here. So after you press teleport button, it will ask which movement it is. And we need to set it somewhere. So we will find event begin play, which is event that happens when the game starts. If, on, if you want to find it fast, just right click and put here event begin play. And it will take you to it. And you can, see that, you can see that it does a lot of stuff. So what we will do is move it all back. And from here we will create sequence. Sequence basically just do two parts of the code almost at the same time. It actually does this one first and then that one, but you don't really need to worry about that yet. So now what we will do after that sequence is simply take this movement mode left and put it here. Just pick it and hold it. Make sure that you are clicking on this little arrow because that will automatically set it to set. And let's do the same thing with right because we want to be able to teleport with both hands. So let's put here again, set movement right. And both of these are setting to 
teleport. So now if you start the game, you will be able to teleport. So now we also need to make sure that we cannot change it because, because as you have seen in the game, you can change it with uh, pressing the button for changing the teleport and we need to find that. And I think that I got a pretty good idea. It will be probably here. Yes, look at that. Drop item or switch movement mode. If you want to see it visually, it's a little bit lower than event begin play right here. So we definitely don't want to disable gripping and dropping objects. So what we simply will do is to disable this part of the code. Double click on it and delete it like this. Let's leave it here because you may want to have it still in your game. I don't, but doesn't matter. That doesn't mean that you don't want it. So let's leave it here. If you want to still be able to switch those movement modes, just keep disconnected. All right, compile and see if it works. Now you can see that I'm pressing a button and nothing is changing. But if I teleport somewhere, it works quite nicely. Let's also say that I actually don't want to teleport by pressing this thumbstick. I want to teleport by pressing this button that we were previously using to switching movement modes. That should be super simple to set up. I'm, I'm again in Vive Pawn character and let's just take this and copy it. Click Ctrl C and let's go back into it was a movement logic, I believe. Yeah, right here. Press Ctrl V again and make sure that you don't switch them. Look at that. We have alternate grip right set to left, which is quite unhappy to say at least. So let's put it here and simply connect it like this. Alternate grip left pressed will be here because it's set here and release will be here. And the same thing here. Right now I'm just showing you examples. You can set it however you want, whatever you want, up, all up to you. I prefer to have teleport on a button. Just showing you how you can change it. Let's leave the thumbstick settings still here, but right now you should be able to teleport by pressing this. Hopefully you can see it. And also this thumbstick. Right, compile and see if it works. All right, and look at that. It seems to work just fine. All right, now let's get to next part and that will be gripping stuff. If you look at that, you can see that if I try to take this weapon, that hold and that grip looks kind of weird. It's like super weird. What we can do with that? Let's test it here. Yeah, it, it holds it, but it looks super weird. What we can do is to teleport back. So let's get to this tab. It basically lets you switch different modes of your hands. For now, it's set to default hands, which has this bit weird grip. We want to actually switch it. So you need to click the other button on your controller and click on this tab with default hands, select with trigger and switch it to grasping hand. You can of course use physics grasping hands, but they are a bit more performance heavy. So depending on your game, you may not want to use it. And it also gets quite buggy if you want to use car and stuff. So let's switch it to grasping hands, select and click on respawn on hands. And now disable this and let's teleport back here to these weapons. So now if I pick it up, you can see that hand is automatically trying to hold it. Fingers are almost mimicking the mess or mass of this mesh. And this one again is super simple. Let's again open five pawn character. And the only thing we need to do is to find here grasping hands spawn grasping hands and from the start let's set it to true and we can actually even look at the code let's right click and find references and you can see that this function check spawn grasping hands which is exactly this one and what it basically does is ask if uh, grasping hands are set to true right here if it is it will execute them don't worry too much about that i'm trying to not worry about it myself it's also a good idea to look where this function is being asked so check spawn grasping hands again find references and you can see that somewhere in event graph and it's exactly here on event begin play as we could have thought so on the start of the game it asks does it have grasping hands right now we set it to yes so we will have it from the start and no one needs to change anything all right compile not that you need it i just like to compile a lot and let's get to another thing and that's climbing right now if you come to any mesh in the game you can climb it and i don't like it i really don't like it i find it quite strange to have it like this but that's not up to me so what we will want to do is to change it we will do it with tag system so let's say that i want only this wall 
to be climbable and also let's put here a cylinder that is climbable as well. Let's make it bigger, etc, etc. If you don't believe me that right now you can climb anything, feel free to try yourself and on your way back press the like button, thank you very much. Anyway, let's get back to setting it up. 5 pawn character, again, double click on it, that's the only blueprint we will use today. And what we will need to do is to find here where is climbing, again. Thanks God for these comments. And this one looks pretty good. It's somewhere in green and it's called Climbing Logic. So if we look at this, it's locally controlled, blah blah blah. And we will check and handle climbing movement because we are checking it of course. Let's double click on that function. And you can see there is already plenty of branches. And the only thing we will do is to move this check and handle climbing movement. Move it a little bit here. And let's put here another branch. We will add here another question. So from this condition, let's take it here and has a tag. That's what we will be changing. Actor has tag. Put it here. Tag. Target. The question is what will be the target? And that's the trick. We will use this grip object because luckily author of this uh, plugin is already taken, has already taken care of it. So grip object is basically the object that this part of the code recognized as object you want to climb on. So let's take it, we will steal it from here, Control c Control v and connect it here. And we cannot use actor because it's component. So let's just take it from here, it has a tag, component has a tag because it's component, of course, my bad. And connect it here. Now, tag, what is the tag? Good question. <laughs> Good question. Basically, it's a little string, little text that you can add to another ob any object and it will be recognized and marked as object that has it. So if we click here on the cylinder, let's scroll down and we should have here tags right here. And that tag will be set to can climb or climb, not sure, your weird English, I don't speak that. <laughs> Why did I say that? Whatever. Anyway, make sure that it's on it and if you s click on any other actor you can see that it doesn't have it anyway now what we need to do is to put this component hashtag right here and paste it again so now what you need to do is to on every object that you want to be climbable you just need to put that, that tag but there is of course solution that what you can do is to go back into five pawn character blah 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 and you can simply connect it to false let's say that you want a uh, character to our player to be able to climb anything except uh, some objects so what you can do is to simply connect it to false if you would connect it to false it would work quite the opposite way and i'm over explaining it but this is beginner tutorial series so hopefully it makes sense if you if something doesn't make sense just feel free to ask in comments i will, will have to answer or hopefully other people will as well so let's test it Right, right click and nothing is happening. How is that possible? Is it possible that Fancy was telling you the two? Okay, now let's try to teleport where we were before, which means, as I'm trying it now, that setting it on just one button probably wasn't the best idea. It will be probably better if you leave it on thumbstick. It's all up to you, I just show two different settings. So now if I try climb this, look at that, it works. Congratulations guys, you have just put the simplest programming solution right here. And it seems like it works just like a charm, everything is cool. And you cannot climb anything else. Alright, so in next tutorial I will show you how to probably kill someone with first meal my weapons. Basically we'll go through a lot of meal weapon settings, how to add your own weapon, etc, etc. All this funny stuff. And that's about it for this tutorial. If it was helpful for you, like, subs and all this funny stuff. Also make sure to check out M72 The Law, which is the author of this channel. You can find some interesting insight here or his website, everything in the description, of course. Well, that's about it. I hope that it was helpful. Surfancy out.